Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. You know, if well actually, if you don't know, I don't know where you've been. Anyway, they're saying that this is the election that will never end. This next Tuesday, November 6th, is the day, is actually election day. And the reason they're saying it'll never end is, what, they've been talking about extending the election so more people can vote because of Hurricane Sandy and all the water problems. Wait, wait a minute, haven't some of the places been voting for the last month? Um, and early early results were supposed to be in, but today at noon, and they were talk, talking about expanding it. And oh well, I know. Does this sound crazy or what? Well, for now, we're gonna bring old Kim on. Oh, here's the other countdown time. Okay, we talked about the election countdown on Tuesday. Wednesday is the live stream broadcast for Christmas is 2012. Yeah, you'll have to go to the website to check it out. But meanwhile, we're bringing old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Back. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Actually, this time it may be because the Obama here. Okay, they're, they're okay. They're and if you don't support Obama, you're not going to get help for her from the uh, uh, storm Sandy. They're walking around. Did you? They're at, they're in violation of can of the election laws. Government officials are asking, did you vote early for the president? Oh, you're not going to vote for the president, and then they they go on. What? There's no help. There's no help in areas that are Republican strong, and only help for areas that are basically going to support the president in oh, the rebuilding. Oh my gosh! Now, of course, this is not the first time you've heard about something like that. Didn't they have a problem at where in Nashville? Yeah, but they said that they're going to. They said that not to worry. The Obama administration said we're going to get to the end of this problem because it shouldn't be being done. They're doing it without my knowledge or permission, and by the, they'll get to it after the election. Isn't that amazing? Then they're going to they'll find get to everything after the election. Remember, they found okay since the first election of Obama, they've done nothing but found criminal misconduct in the election. Mm -hmm. So they're going to find more. But he's ignored every every charge that has been made. Every every. Every single conviction they've ignored, totally. Well, see, that's not the only thing that's changing because the AFL-CIO has, what, lifted the Jones Act? Oh, yeah, the unions members? have lifted the Jones Act so as many as a million people from Mexico can be brought into the United States by Election Day. Isn't that amazing? We need these people here in a moment. The United States government is going to help to bring these skilled workers into the country, give them work permits, and get them here by you know by the end of this weekend so that they can help with the reconstruction of the East Coast. That's a million votes for Obama. The only way they're going to get there is if the United States government takes them there by planes and trains and boats. Um, and and, and to, uh, basically an airlift is unprecedented to elect the President of the United States. See, and here's, here's a little hiccup on that is, see, the, in the rebuilding, aren't they just doing just the... What union people? Yeah, the union people. And then people. they're skipping over the non-union people and then importing people from Mexico. Yeah, because they can't elect them. Okay, they said that it virtually everybody said it is a total gimme that the president of the United States is going to lose the popular vote, but he would have won it except for the, for the storm. And then, then another thing too, the election is officially over across the United States for early voting in 12 minutes. The Democrats are in court to extend the, uh, the voting. Uh, not only t Tuesday, but through the whole month of November, because it's only fair to those people that were in those storm-ravaged areas. Uh, so isn't that amazing? It, but they, I said, even, I want to put it this way, Charlie Rangel, who is about as left-wing as possible, said he advised the young man and his people not to go there because you will lose the court battle. I said, I guarantee you that the Supreme Court will hand you your head he said, because this is a political nightmare, if he wins the election, they're going to claim it was by fraud and he will be thrown out of office. Mm -hmm. They said if he loses the election, he's going to claim it was because he didn't get to have that extra week or months voting. So he said, this election, you know, this is going to be the worst election in the history of our nation. This one won't be remembered for a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> and the Democrats is. demanding the election. Oh. Well, New York lesbian couple accuses wedding venue of discrimination. They don't have to do that. It, the, the whole problem is, is that you cannot make a private business obey a, uh, a federal statute, folks. Only a gov only a business that does business with the federal government is forced to obey federal statutes. 
and Obama blames the economy on George Bush today. Oh yeah, he, I know, uh, he, he said, I, I, I'm taking control of this economy when he kicked, when Bush, when he was very rude to Bush at the uh, inaugural. He now has said, as of officially today, this is George Bush's economy. Four years into the presidency, this is George Bush's economy. And it will, uh, here's the, okay, I gotta cover. This is, you know, like Bill O'Reilly, he worships the ground the president works on, walks on. This morning, he specifically said these words. It is going to take me eight to ten years to undo what George Bush did. He said me to undo it. That means he has no intention of leaving office, and he told everybody that this morning. I don't know if they got that part. Uh, they, 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 he got off, of, when he gets off, okay, he really, when he gets off of, um, off the teleprompter, he becomes Chicago thug. But in, I, I want to, uh, here's something that we can live his ears. Okay, here's little Rex. Who created Chicago politics? Oh, the Republicans. Who created dirty campaign? Oh, the Republicans. Who created Busley? The Republicans. They said, why the hell can't they figure out what's being done in Chicago? They created it all. He said, Republicans aren't very bright, are they? <laughs> Americans favor water recycling, but there's an ick factor. Oh, I, I hate to tell everybody, but water, that gray water that basically, you know, it's all recycled. One way or the other, you get, you know, when they clean it all up, a lot of times it comes right back to you. You can basically, the, the water is better when they get done. Why do they have sanitation stations for? They don't pump, okay, in the middle of the Midwest, they don't pump it to the ocean. Yeah. They just reuse the water. Here they pump it to the ocean because it's convenient, and then they bring the water back from the ocean and recycle it. So all they're doing is, so if it's good enough to be drank when it comes back out of the ocean, it's good enough to drink before you go to the ocean. So the ick factor, they say, ooh, you mean, don't, I'm drinking water that's been cleaned up from the bathroom? Well, you always have. <laughs> Ew! Early, early voting has favored Romney, not Obama. I know, that's not. They said that um, he's leading uh, said by 19% on the independents and all the others. <coughs> they said independents is 19%, the others are 11% because the people are not coming out to vote for Obama because they, they're simply saying, well, what has he done for me? And they, well, you see, when you're, when you're a black businessman that lost your auto dealership, you're not going to support him. If you're a, if you're a, a young member of the, uh, of the AFL-CIO in the United Auto Workers that lost their job because of Obama, you're not going to vote for the man. And he's in Detroit. Detroit today, you want to teach George Bush a valuable lesson, don't vote for his clone. Mitt Romney, and then you'll say, I stood up to George Bush and what he did to us. Uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> weird, folks. <laughs> and Zynga cuts 5% of workforce, ending 13 games. I, I know. I mean, they, they, they basically are going out of business, and, and their stock is going up unbelievable. I mean, Maybe they thought they were too fat. No, they're basically don't. They're okay. They're uh, the companies they're doing business with are all so, like Electronic Arts is after them over, I don't know Farmville and all these things. They do business with, um, you know, uh, with all these social media sites and basically, people really don't want to be bothered. I'm I have acreage and I might come on down the farm. I have lots of acreage. They don't. I sit there and tell people don't do that. And everybody on my thing. But you know, there's a lot of people like on the other side. Not on my business side, but on the family side. It's like they really like to play those games. I don't play games. Most of the people on my side don't play games. It's a business site. It's, it's a, a business site. site, pro side. That's right. Um, state after state that passed new voter voters' laws, being told they can't be put into place till the de until after the Democrats are elected to office. And the Supreme Court is going to hear it, which means you've got yet another. Okay. They said that, here's the way it works is, if Obama wins the presidency, there's going to be so much litigation against him in the court system that the Democrats, if they control the Senate, which they may do, will have to throw him out of office. This will possibly be the first president in our nation's history to actually go to jail. But the Republicans won't do it. The Democrats control the Senate. The Democrats will vote to remove him because they cannot spend the next four years tied up in the court in the in the in the court system that is going to find against him, and he he will not be able to appoint a Supreme Court justice to the bench for the entire length of time, mm -hmm. and, and the Democrats know it. So here they want him. Another one said, "Okay, here's this morning, Bill Clinton. 
you know, we, 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 we know that, you know, that we don't want this man to be president of the United States, but it's either the policies of the Democrats, which are forward and progressive, are the politics of the Republicans who are backwards. So even though none of us want this man, he doesn't even call him by name, this man, you have to vote Democratic in order to keep our policies going forward. I mean, it basically, he know he basically he would throw him over the he would throw him under the wheels of Hillary bus if he could because he's throwing he's trying to throw Hillary under again this morning. State Department thing showed that Hillary was contacted about it and did nothing. <laughs> and a Monty bubble is from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, we we just got back from a, a, a show where it's like one third of a mile to the next place at the travel show, and I can guarantee you that.